Hi, and welcome to the Russell School Virtual Preview. We're very glad to have you here today, and we hope this presentation will give you an overview of what the Russell has to offer and why it may be a good choice for you and your family. Our agenda for today is to join the presentation, which you've already done, a quick welcome, a school introduction. We'll skip the family introduction since this is asynchronous. Then we'll go over some registration information, school information, some testimonials, and then a quick virtual school tour. We know that you have many choices in Boston and Boston Public Schools, and we're thrilled that you're considering the Russell as a, one of the schools that's in your list of choices and as a possible fit for you and your family. We hope today's presentation will be able to answer questions for you and give you a feel for what it would be like to be part of the Russell community. We understand that this might not cover all of your questions, so we encourage you to reach out with any questions that we can answer for you going forward in an effort to help make the decision for which school to attend uh, easier for you. Again, we know you have a lot of choices and we hope that the Russell will be one of them. The leadership team at the Russell is very strong and it starts with our principal, Principal Derek Cisla. Derek has been with us for three years, and prior to that, our principal was with us for 10 years. So we've had consistent, strong leadership at the Russell School, which allows for our continued success and a clear direction for our students and our faculty. Every year, we also have a principal intern or two through the Harvard School of Education. This year, our principal intern is Elizabeth Duquette. Our staff assistant administrator, Sharon Sodergren, is um, in our building to support Principal Cecil in any way that she can, and also to support our families in connecting them to programs and bringing in opportunities for our students, both um, within the Boston Public Schools Partnership Programs and independently as our own school entity. Our school secretary is Ms. Carrie Barnes. She's the person that will be able to guide you and answer any questions that you might have now or in the future. She always knows exactly who would have that information and how to get it. Our school nurse is Ms. Mary Lou Vivian Morris. And we have an instructional coach, Ms. Kate Maylou. Kate is um, responsible for making sure that she is coaching our teachers and giving them um, feedback and guidance on strong uh, academic and teaching philosophy and skills. She also makes sure that all of the instruction is aligned, not only at the grade level, but as a continuing among grade levels so that all of our instruction is aligned and students are getting what they need and there's no gaps in learning. And finally, my position is student support and my name is Miss Elizabeth reynolds Lupo, and everyone at the Russell calls me <laughs> RLs. So I'm here to help and support as best I can with our students both during the school day and with after school time. The school registration timeline has already opened, so the registration period is January 5th to the 29th with prior registration periods for students entering K0 and K1. February 9th to April 5th is the second priority registration period, and that's for students entering K2 and all other grades. And finally, May 28th, families will receive notification of their assignment. We hope you will want to join the Russell School and rank us first choice on your school choice form. We understand, again, that you have lots of choices in Boston, but we hope that we are among one of your choices and that if you do feel like we'd be a great fit, that you rank us first. General information for the Russell School. Um, our hours are 8.15 to 3.10. We are a traditional um, Boston Public Elementary School with extended learning time. We do have three half days, the day before Thanksgiving and the two last days before our summer break. We are located at 750 Columbia Road in Dorchester. Easy to find because we're across from the Pear and the KFC on Columbia Road. And we serve K0 to grade five. The Russell offers a variety of programs to support our students, starting with our Sheltered English Immersion Strand, which supports students who speak primarily Spanish at home with English language acquisition. And that starts in grade K-1 and continues to grade three. By the end of grade three, most of our students have flipped and are able to be supported adequately in a traditional classroom. We do have a strong ELL department at the Russell to provide additional uh, language acquisition support as needed for our students. We also have a specialized K0, K1 special education classroom that is center-based. This classroom is assigned through the special education department and not necessarily through the Welcome Center. 
our kindergarten is NACI accredited, and so we follow NACI guidelines and recommendations, including the class size, class setup, schedule, and structure of the day. The Russell School is very proud of our SFL writing curriculum, which was developed by Dr. Maria Brisk in collaboration with the Russell School. Many of our teachers were cited and their work was used in the research to support this curriculum. They also are, um, many of them still teaching and writing about the SFL program for Dr. Brisk and with BC. And you will see that our students make tremendous progress using the SFL writing curriculum and learning writing through genres. We also are a Selwell school, meaning that all of our students get explicit instruction in social emotional learning through a Paselli and Wallace grant that we have received. We are a PBIS school, meaning that we use positive behavior intervention system. We want to make sure that our kids are being reinforced for doing the right thing and that we're encouraging that impulse control and those skills that they will need for later in life, such as sharing, respect, responsibility, and being reflective of their actions. Our students receive um, PA points for good choices and great behavior and are um, given prizes and shout outs every week for accomplishing these goals. We also have a very strong MTSS or multi-tiered student support system at our school, which allows us to do individual reviews of students who may have been presented to the MTSS team for a variety of needs. These needs could include things like behavior, academic concerns, home concerns, um, challenges with friends, any sort of challenges that a teacher or parent might see could be referred to MTSS, and then a team of about 13 professionals in our building will discuss what's going on, looking at the evidence and um, the data that's being presented, and then we'll make a specialized individual plan for supporting this student. The Russell School also has two beautiful outdoor classrooms. We have an outdoor classroom in the back that has a whole bunch of science activities and connections to outdoor learning. And in the front, we have our community garden, which was designed and advocated for by our students about five years ago, and has become an integral part of our community. We also have two leadership programs at our school right now for our upper grades, our safety patrol program and our 10 girls and 10 boys initiative. Our safety patrol program was brought to the school by Principal Cisla and allows the students to hold a leadership position. They support with things like um, helping with the bus, helping with transition off of the bus to the Boys and Girls Club. They support with peer uh, mediation for low level um, disagreements or problems in the school. You can, they can use peer um, mediation to solve the problem. They also help with arrival and dismissal and school-wide events. Our 10 Girls and 10 Boys Initiative was developed to support students who were um, looking for more of a leadership opportunity in the school. And these students are responsible for school culture and overall school pride. They also work really hard on equity and access for all of our students, making sure that all of the needs of all of the kids are heard. Our 10 boys and 10 girls are the ones who would serve on our leadership teams, and they would be the ones who would provide insight and guidance to our um, our governing body at the school to help make sure that there's a student voice in all decisions. The Russell School does not have our own after school program. We had considered it, but we actually decided after some investigation and thought that our building, although beautiful, does not have the space to adequately provide the enrichment activities we would want for our students. So we have built a strong partnership with the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester for after school programming. The Boys and Girls Club that we use is located at um, 1135 Dorchester Ave in Dorchester, Mass. And it serves ages five and up. And because it is a partnership, membership for the Russell students is free of cost. Many of our students do opt to take the bus over to the Boys and Girls Club after school, and they ride together on a yellow bus every day um, and get off together as a group of green shirts, which they love. Some of our families have opted to use a more um, selective approach to using this partnership. So maybe their student just participates in the swim team, or maybe their student just participates in the um, body and fuel program that they have over there, 
maybe they're just doing um, music lessons over there. So you can also use it sort of as an a la carte type system um, to get the enrichment experiences you're looking for for your student if full time after school care is not um, a requirement or a need for you. The Russell School has many partnerships, which again help us to support our students um, and allow us to give our kids opportunities and ex access to experts that we might not have otherwise had. Our first opportunity that our kids have is our Playworks partnership. And this is a partnership with an organization called Playworks. They send a coach out to work with the kids in the schoolyard um, to support them with recess. They use play to teach um, conflict resolution, and how to work together, how to problem solve, and how to build community through music, through play. Um, our second partnership is with Community Music Center of Boston. Community Music Center of Boston currently provides choral instruction for all of our students. They also um, provide a program for our fourth and fifth graders that allows them to begin with strings. So we currently have the cello and the violin. However, we are looking to expand in its, um, this partnership in coming years to include more musical instruments and opportunities for kids to experience different types of instruments in the future. So we are in talks with community music um, currently about the expansion of our, our music program to make it more robust and meet the needs of more of our students. The third partnership we have is City Sprouts, which is the one pictured on this slide. And City Sprouts comes and works with our students in our two outdoor classroom spaces. In this picture, Mr. Ian is working on a um, cider press with the kids during our fall unit of study for science. The students were doing a um, life cycle of, a, of an apple and a plant. And so they were looking at seeds in particular in this case. Um, but Mr. Ian works very closely with our classroom teachers and our FOSS curriculum to make sure that the things that he's teaching in the outdoor classroom really come alive. We don't want to, this to be um, just another extracurricular opportunity. We really want this to be something that allows our current curriculum to come alive for the kids and be real life hands-on experiences. And City Sprouts has allowed us to bring that to our students. We also have a um, partnership with Children's Services of Roxbury. Children's Services of Roxbury provides individual and small group um, counseling for students who need it. Katie's Closet is another partnership that we brought into our school to provide um, for our families in need. They provide basic um, things like clothing and hygiene necessities for our students. Boston Partners in Education is another partnership that allows us to bring in highly trained and qualified volunteers into our classroom to provide an extra set of hands or um, additional people in the classroom to support our teacher. This is particularly helpful when you're doing center space work or small group reading, things like that. It just gives another person another set of hands and eyes to support the classroom. Rosie's Place is another partnership that we've brought in to support our families who are homeless or transitioning or um, have needs um, that we cannot support directly through the school. Rosie's Place has been able to step in and help with housing stability and home stability. Our One Bead program is one of our newer programs we've brought in. One Bead has been able to run a entrepreneurship program with our students where our students are allowed to um, are given $1,000 and they're asked to create a philanthropic program or activity or opportunity that would help solve a problem in their community. In the past year, they decided to focus on food insecurity and um, food deserts in, in Boston, and they looked into that and then used their money to try to solve that through working with the Fresh Truck program. And finally, our newest program is our YES program, which allows our students to get out and get outdoor enrichment activities that they might not have access to in the city. Even though we know the city has a tremendous number of opportunities and um, extracurriculars for our kids, we know some things you just can't offer in Boston. So the YES program allows our kids to get out and do fly fishing, mountain biking, downhill skiing, uh, rock climbing, um, all sorts of things like that that you couldn't really get done in Boston. So why choose the Russell? I'd like to take a minute to take a look at this video.
Welcome to the William E. Russell Elementary School, located at 750 Columbia Road in historic Dorchester, Massachusetts. Here at the Russell, we like to think of ourselves as special and unique, serving about 400 students, with 263 students being of Latino descent. We have a very strong faculty and staff here. Our job is just not to educate students with the curriculum, with arithmetic and English language arts, but it's to educate uh, the content of their character. Um, and that's why the Russell is such a special place. I have the pleasure of working here at the Russell School because of a Wallace grant called the Partnership for a Social Emotional Learning Initiative. I work with teachers here around uh, the SEL curriculum, which is Mind Up. Teachers here chose that curriculum. They are not just implementing explicit SEL lessons. They've been rock stars as far as integrating the SEL throughout academics. We have an SEL leadership team that meets here on a monthly basis. So we collaborate on things that are happening in school and also um, strengthening our partnership with people in the community. So for example, um, the Boys and Girls Club in Dorchester. Um, we also have Playworks. We are really focusing on 21st century skills. We're really hoping to name the competencies, the skills and competencies that students need to be successful in life, not just in school, but at home and then beyond when they leave the rest of school. Um, the Mind Up curriculum in particular that the teachers here chose, I think it's really about empowering students. They're learning about their brain. Um, the first three lessons are explicitly teaching about the brain and learning. And I was just in a yoga class and students are chanting about that they're strong and that they have choices and that they have control over their bodies and their brains. The school is incorporating what the curriculum calls brain breaks. It's really mindful moments and strategies to calm your body and brain. Um, so you can walk into you know, any classroom here and see students sitting quietly, um, some students with their eyes closed, taking deep breaths in and out. And I have seen the teachers modify the curriculum to meet the needs of all students, including students who have been um, affected by trauma in some way. All learning is social and emotional. And I think when schools are able to really honor that and believe that and really focus all the things that they do on social and emotional development, it allows for greater academic gains. If all learning is social and emotional, it needs to be a community effort. And I think another thing that's great about being able to work with folks here is that I'm able to support the entire day from a learning perspective, making sure that partnerships that they are creating with the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester are aligned and making sure that when students are at the club, they still feel the same love and support that they feel at the Russell. And making sure that when we're talking about social and emotional uh, either practices or beliefs, uh, that there is some cohesion and consistency there. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, we all want our students to thrive. We've, we've always, as a school, known that social emotional learning is important, but the heavy focus is always on reading, writing, math. Sure. And, um, and as studies come out again and again, that that's not what measures success. And they can look back at kindergarten is, is cooperation, is interacting with peers, interacting with authority, perseverance, resilience, uh, patience. The Russell is an amazing, passionate school that I feel like over the years could help evolve students into like really good people. I think the best part of being in fifth grade and being at the school is yeah. like you get a lot of opportunities. This school is like really special. It's like, it feels like home. Hmm.
ways to get involved. We know it's really important for that parent and school community partnership to be really strong. And it's something that we work on every single day is that two-way communication and making sure that our parents feel not only heard, but included and part of our school and community. Um, and so we've set up some formal and informal ways for our parents to be um, connected to our school and stay involved. Uh, we have many things like our school site council, our parent site council, we have an instructional leadership team, a cell team, our equity roundtable, our spirit committee, and our newest um, thing that we've taken on this year is our parent ambassadors program, which allows um, veteran parents to become a support system for our new parents or parents that might be new to a situation. For example, we have parents on our parent ambassador list that speak different languages so that parents who speak Vietnamese or Cantonese or Cape Verdean Creole or whatever they might speak, have somebody that they can reach out to in their native language and talk to about questions, comments, concerns, whatever they need to. We also know that um, diagnoses and special education can be an area that's very confusing. So we have parents on our parent ambassador um, program that have been working with an IEP for many years and are able to help and support parents in that process. Basically, the goal of this program is to give our parents an opportunity to support each other and to give them an opportunity to speak to somebody who is maybe um, not a teacher who might have a better perspective or a different perspective to help them out. The Russell also focuses a lot on building school-wide community, and we do that through our school-wide events. We have many opportunities throughout the years for our community to come together. Even though we have a tiny little building, we do our very best to use our community and the surrounding um, facilities to make sure we have opportunities to bring everybody together. The first event that we have every year is our open house and barbecue. This allows us to come in, come together, meet the teacher, see the classroom, and then it gives an opportunity for the kids to come together in the backyard with their families in a less formal way with some music, some good food, allow you to connect with your child's friends and their families and start building that um, those connections that will last for the next five to six years. The second event we have is our Harvest Fest, which is our uh, celebration of fall. And we usually have the children decorate pumpkins. We um, eat cider donuts. We have a harvest fest in the backyard with games and carnival activities. And we just sort of celebrate the fact that the kids have done a really great job for the beginning of the year. We have a second um, festival, which is our winter fest, which we have um, right before our winter break. We usually wear pajamas. We host a um, donation drive of pajamas for a local uh, women's shelter for, their, for the kids that are in the family shelter. And then the kids all wear their pajamas to school after we make the donation and we celebrate with hot chocolate and popcorn and a movie at the school. It's a lot of fun, just a nice relaxing day to send us off into the winter break to celebrate the fact that we're giving back to our community and to celebrate all of the hard work that our kids have done up until that point. We then move into what is probably my favorite day of the year, which is our multicultural um, event or our day. And this is an opportunity where our kids get to showcase the many uh, cultures that they come from and the different communities that are represented at the Russell School. We are very fortunate to have over 38 different communities represented at the Russell. And so we do our very best to bring in experts from as many of these places to teach our kids either dance or music or poetry or art um, from these different cultures. Then we come together. In the past, we've held this at the Russell School, but as of lately, we have outgrown our auditorium and been asked by the file marshals to move somewhere safer. So this past year, prior to COVID, we had intended to move to the Strand Theater, and that is still our intention as soon as um, COVID allows us to come back together as a community to bring back our multicultural night at the Strand Theater. And this night usually includes, again, food from different cultures and communities. It includes um, every single student having an opportunity to get onto stage and perform, whether it be through our community music program, through the dance um, curriculum that we implement in physical education, be it through um, spoken word or poetry opportunities that they have in class. And we also host a um, visual arts um, an art show in the art gallery that's at the Strand Theater with art pieces that are inspired by different cultures and techniques from around the world that's done by our art teacher. 
And finally, we celebrate the end of our school year with our community day and our field day. Our community day allows us to bring our community together for the beautification and maintenance of the Russell. This is the day where we come together and clean the garden, make sure that our signs are fresh, make sure the school looks good, that everything is painted and beautiful, and that our school just stays lovely and welcoming for everybody for years to come. And finally, our field day is a traditional sports-centered um, day of play that we hold down at Mulkley Park that includes um, track and field, soccer, football, lacrosse, basketball, you name it, we've done it. Um, and also the highlight of the year is always the students versus teachers races and tug of war against Mr. C. Finally, all of this is paid for through our Dollar Days, which is our school-based fundraiser. Students do wear a uniform to school, khaki pants or a skirt and a green collar shirt, hunter green. Um, however, on Fridays, they are given the option to pay a dollar to not wear their uh, uniform. And they're also giving the option of joining in one of our silly theme days. So they can choose to participate in something like, um, you know, summer fun day in the middle of the winter or crazy hat day or um, whatever the kids come up with. And it's the 10 boys and 10 girls that develop the list of different dollar days each year so that um, they're different and new and exciting. The next clip is a Russell family preview. It's just some words from our families. Hi, my name is Edna Montero Andrade and I am a Russell School parent. The Russell School is an amazing school with amazing educators and they are such under such great leadership right now with Mr. Cicla as their um, principal. Um, the Russell School has been in our family for over 18 years and I can tell you from our experience with the Russell School that they have done an amazing job with the children in my family. Um, starting with my cousin Jason, who was the first one to attend the um, Russell School. And today he is a, a biomedical engineer. And then I have my sister Alyssa, who also attended the Russell School and she is pursuing her education at UMass Boston currently. I have my son Jonathan, who went to the Russell School, and he is at Madison Park right now as a junior. I have my cousin Jayla, who went to the Russell School, and she is at a senior now at um, the John D. O'Brien School. And then I have my wonderful daughter, Aaliyah, who is now in the third grade at the Russell School, and she's gonna talk to you guys a little bit about her experience at the Russell School. Hi, my name is Aaliyah Figueroa. I'm in third grade. And as soon as I became a student in the Russell School, I felt like I was home and I had like a family. And all all the teachers in the whole school were are like so nice. This is my daughter Delana and hoping she's gonna become a Russell School um student one day. Um and like I said, guys, the Russell School is amazing. Um, the teachers are amazing. It's such a great program. I feel like the academic level there is excellent and they produce wonderful, wonderful students who go on to be, do big things in life. So um, yes, Russell School all the way. We love you, Russell School. Yeah, the same thing that Desiree said is when you came to visit, you know, that was, it was huge, you know, there was that massive disconnect when, when, the, when, the, when the lockdown happened, you know, and it, it, all of this uncertainty. And then is that, is that sense of stability right there and it's tangible. So that was, that was huge, you know. And then that happened with the, you know, with you as well and with, um, you know, Ms. Brendel, the art teacher. Um, mm -hmm. same, the same thing, you know, she came by, she, she didn't want to, wasn't going to see the kids yet. I'm like, you can't come to this house and not let these kids talk. They, 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 they value and appreciate you. So, I mean, it's going to be at a distance, but there was that connection again. So that was, that was huge. Right. Yeah. Miss RL is, is similar. She would drop off the art projects yeah. every Friday, every yeah. Thursday for the Friday group. And it was just, it was really, really touching to see people go out of their way and I'm sure it was nice to get out the house too but it was just the thought and the the love that went behind it that was really powerful during that time mm -hmm. absolutely yeah mm -hmm. yeah there's there's a definite support for for each other 
you know, the, the parent teacher relationship. Mm -hmm. And I think that would, I think that's key having parent, the parent teacher relationship, because without that, it doesn't work well from my experience. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Hi, we're the Textero family. I like the Russell because the teachers are awesome. I like the Russell School because they have lots of fun at the Russell School. The Russell School is the best! Yay! Hi, my name is... Normally this would be the question and answer time, but since this is asynchronous, we will not be able to do that. However, if you do have any questions, please feel free to drop an email to me at any time, and I will do my very best to answer you. My email is erenoldslupo at bostonpublicschools.org, and I am very happy to help with answering any questions that I can. If it would assist you, we would also be very happy to invite you to um, observe one of our classrooms on Zoom, if that would help you to make your decision. And we really hope to um, see many of you in the fall when you start as Russell students and families. Thanks so much. Bye.